What's going on YouTube? Today I just wanted to give you guys a super quick update on the progress of the Samurai. We have the roll cage like 98% complete and I want to show you guys what I did and kind of how I did it. started with this rear hoop that I bent, which is similar to the hoops in the front, but what I did different was I tilted it forward, and the reason I tilted it forward was to get a little bit of triangulation. A triangle is the strongest shape, which makes it harder to break or bend, so by triangulating it, it makes it stronger. So I tilted that forward, and then ran my top pieces up, up across, and then pretty much filled all these in to make a bunch of triangles. Even on these, as you can see here, it just makes another triangle and another form of support to keep the hoop from caving in. And my last, or my last piece that I have to go on here, which I wasn't able to get to tonight because it's getting late, is I have some braces that are going to come off here. I'm going to try and do something along this line just to give the rear hoop a little bit of support because if, you've, if you go over and flop, the weak point right now is right here because this is going to want to buckle down a little bit. So giving it a little bit of support right here, but also trying to maximize my storage space uh, and not cramp it in too much with too many X's and you know stuff. Just enough to keep someone safe. I'm so soaked on how this thing is turning out because before, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this was my first roll cage build that I actually have done myself and so I'm pretty stoked on it. I'm really proud of how it's turned out. And before it was kind of looking like, uh, like a truck kind of thing without the roll cage going all the way to the back. And now I think it definitely looks like a long samurai and I just cannot wait to get this thing out on the trail. There's so much more to do. some late nights on this thing so I'm getting tired it's cold the garage isn't insulated and the thing I learned was that I hate notching tubes with a grinder because that's what I started out doing and I remembered that somebody had given me that notcher and I had I just totally forgot about it but the notcher has saved me hours like seriously hours if you're going to build a roll cage that's not a kit, you know, they have some kits that are pre-notched and everything, but if you're building your own custom, I would not do it without a notcher or some some sort of, bit, or at least a plasma cutter so you can mark your notches and then cut them easily, because doing it with a grinder is just not worth it, so <laughs> buy a kit that's, you know, notched and ready or have the proper tools because you'll get so frustrated and mad, like, you know, and then you're also burning up tubing because you're not gonna get something right, you're gonna screw it up and it's gonna cost you money.
three most important things that I was keeping in the back of my mind while I was doing this build was one, looks. I wanted it to still look like a samurai. I didn't want it to turn into a buggy that only has a samurai hood because in my opinion that's not a samurai. So I kept the looks of the samurai. Two was storage. It was one of the main reasons that I stretched it to make it longer so I could actually store more. And three, obviously, as you see the overkill cage is safety. When I do roll over, because it will happen, just, you know, that everyone will be safe and nobody gets hurt. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. We're going to get back to a little more consistent basis on this thing. But I really wanted to show you guys how the cage has turned out. Uh, I'm super stoked on it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button down below. This thing's coming along awesome. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.